Hi, it's Bob Brown and welcome to my YouTube channel. This uh, video is about uh, asynchronous and synchronous communication. Asynchronous communication, uh, not, we're not going to do the telecom explanation, but an asynchronous message is this. This is asynchronous. I'm sending you a message. It may sit in your inbox forever. You may look at it in an hour or two hours or three hours. I can send it out to millions of people, thousands of people. And it's, it's, it's not necessarily a one-way communication, but I'm sending the message out and I'll wait for responses. The responses may take years to come back. So that's asynchronous. Synchronous communication is calling you on the phone and you answer and we start talking. We go to Starbucks, we sit down, we talk. That's a synchronous communication in real time. So asynchronous is the ability to send out messages. So in a recent discussion I had with someone about a business problem, I said, what you're dealing with is that you're tr you have a, a senior business manager who's requiring, and I don't blame them, I need, they say, when I look at this, I need real-time information. That, mess that information has to be as, as close to real-time as possible. I have to synchronize with that data in my mind. And what's happening is the person was, the, the messages were coming to him asynchronously through email. So, you know, like I said, well, I'm in my late 50s, so in your late 50s, you start having cognitive decline, as you can tell. So, and I'm not saying anyone else does, I'm just talking about me. So, it, sometimes you go through a thousand emails, you can lose them, or you lose track of them. So, my recommendation was... And that the emails should still go out. You can still send out the asynchronous communication to people. But there needs to be a node, a point of reference, where people can go to. So the, the solution was pretty simple. They're using a, an Excel spreadsheet. I said, keep your master spreadsheet that 10 people are updating. But create uh, links to 10 other read-only spreadsheets. So there's, you have your master spreadsheet in this directory. You have 10 spreadsheets that may be in the same directory of the, on the server elsewhere. You copy and paste a link. Just copy from this master. You paste the link into the read-only spreadsheets. And now they're linked real time. And then you can give certain people access. One issue was that one of the tabs, only one tab was supposed to go to this person. The rest was kind of for other groups and they didn't need to see it. In some cases they couldn't see it. So you could just paste the link for that tab. And now these spreadsheets are linked, they're synchronized. Now, when you update the master sheet, these synchronized spreadsheets that are now are, are going to be linked, and you can set up Excel to update. Copy and paste from that server, your server drive to the, the senior executive's machine, you paste a shortcut. So now when he wants real-time data, instead of looking at the asynchronous email, which could be an hour ago, a day ago, a week ago, he clicks on this link and the Excel spreadsheet opens. When it opens, it's going to auto-update, and bam, he now has synchronized data, keeping in mind that it's as updated as the spread master spreadsheet is. But it's not like a copy of a copy of a copy that may be six hours old. Also keep in mind, as I pointed out, that if a customer is changing their mind, that's not reflected in the spreadsheet yet. And that's the dynamics of business nowadays, the constant shifting. So asynchronous messages like in Blackboard, when you use for Blackboard the software, the discussion boards are mostly asynchronous. You send messages, you may respond to it in an hour, a day, or a week. That doesn't mean they're wrong, that just means that you, you have time to respond, but and it's important, and you can keep track and update. Facebook is a form of asynchronous communication, although now they're putting you know uh, real you know live Facebook, which is now synchronized information. But generally, people use it asynchronously. I I send a message, I post a picture of my cat, my dog, or what I'm doing today, and and people at their leisure can read it. So in this case, all the the, the the disharmony I saw in the organization was being caused because the senior person says, hey, I need real-time data when I'm talking to other people in a meeting and I'm looking at asynchronous information. That's the core problem. So by giving that person a link to the master spreadsheet, they're getting as close to possible to real-time from what we know as they can. By clicking the link, the, the hyperlink or the link opens up, 
the update happens, and now they're looking at the spreadsheet as close to real time. Keeping ever in mind, if the customer in another state is changing their mind, you don't know about that yet. And that's the dynamics of business. So I hope this video has been some help on understanding asynchronous communication versus synchronized. It's not that they're one's better than the other. They're just different application. And if you're feeding someone asynchronous information, time has moved on and they're expecting synchronized information or real time. And that can cause a lot of confusion. Thank you.